assemble once more. Travel to the harbor. Welcome back, Vestige. News of Manamarco's demise spreads far and wide. Like worms, his followers burrow deep into the earth. As ever, straight to the point. You've done that is the grim truth of the matter. In my sleep, I hear his tormented screams, and Molog Baal forces visions of his eternal torture into my mind. Follow him will know. You cannot hope to betray the greatest of betrayers. I cannot help but pity him, despite all he has done. But this is not why you were called here, Vestige. Come, Sizer Harp will speak with you first. The greatest of the sword saints, Divard, tells us that destiny is a chain. Forged one link at a time. Our chain is nearly complete. There is it is you, my friend. You are the link. I will not bore you with effusive praise, but state it plainly. You are a great warrior and a trusted friend. And we would like to extend you an offer. When Emperor Varen first brought the five companions together, he did so in the hope of creating a Tamriel where all men could live freely and safely beneath one banner. The five companions failed, betrayed from within by one of our own, the Worm King, Menemarco. All that came after was the result of one man's treachery. We want you to join us as our fifth member. You were the champion we should have had with us back then. My lord, with your permission. You needn't call me that anymore, Saizahan. We are equals now. All those years ago, when we fought beneath our Lord's banner to free the Empire from the Longhouse Emperors, we did so with a dream of freedom and peace in mind. Not just for the Empire, but for all of Tamriel. Together, we forged a fellowship stronger than any blade, only to see it shattered upon the rocks of deceit by one of our own. That fellowship is no more. Yet we four have assembled here, united by a single purpose. It is not vengeance that drives us. But truth, and loyalty, and justice. I, Sai Sahan, steward of the Abbey of Blades, call for the five companions to be reforged this day. By the light of Stendar, and the heart of Lorcan, may our Blade of Fellowship be forged anew. And may the Vestige, our mutual friend and ally, become its tip. And we may thrust it straight into the heart of a Daedric Prince. Sai Sahan is right. You are the member that we should have had all those years ago. It is as the strolls foretold. The soulless one will become the brightest of five stars, and they shall guide us to the coming dawn. Oh, please, you melodramatic sots. Fine, fine. If seeing one of your foolish prophecies come true will help to ensure the safety of the Empire, I'll play along. We stand united once more. 
The five companions are reforged, and together we will strike down the God of Schemes! Come here, my friend. I've got a few things I want to say before you go. It's been a long road, hasn't it? My father used to say that if you avoid all of life's abrasions, you'll never be polished enough to shine. I've been thinking about our adventures and the hardships we've faced together. We're in the last leg of this journey, aren't we? Where do you see yourself going after all of this is over? I mean, assuming we survive, get your soul back, and stop Molag Ball. <laughs> Traveling is a humbling experience. You see firsthand what a small place you occupy in the world. Funny thing is, the farther you go, the harder it is to return. But when you do, if you do, you get to see the place you came from with new eyes. Me? <laughs> I don't know. What? No! <laughs> Can you imagine it? Lyra's Titanborn, shepherd, farmer, housewife. I need to be out in the wind and wild. And if I ever find my life mate, he'll feel the same way. You never get used to it. My father, he'll die over and over again for the rest of my life. Grief doesn't go away. You just learn to live with it. Oh, <laughs> lots of things. Friends lost, missed opportunities, failed endeavors. One last thing. You like mead. I knew I liked you. So, let's toast. To Molag Ball, that ugly skeever. May his privates be infected with brown rot fever. May our... Let's not forget the struggles that got us to this point. We're almost home. We just have a bit further to fight. Are you all insane? You do realize what we need to do, right? We have to fight a Daedric Prince. Amulet or no, this is going to mean more death. Vestige, come here. I'll tell you what they're afraid to mention. Getting all chummy with Titanborn? I enjoy the company of clever, well-informed people. You really should try it sometime. The farmer doesn't thank the cow when it voids itself on the field, but it still makes the crops grow taller. I suppose it is, but that wasn't the reason for this heartwarming reunion. Varen and I have spoken at length since you recovered the amulet, and have determined our final course of action. First, the plane meld must be stopped. Even now, forces gather and plan an assault on Oblivion itself. You must join them. Then, and only then, can you take the fight to Molag Baal himself, to restore protection to Nern and reclaim your soul. I know more about the Daedra than any man or Myrrh alive. For good or ill, my family has always kept ties with the forces of Oblivion, and this much I know. One cannot kill a Daedric Prince. With the amulet in our possession, we may be able to wound him, severely, and in the process force him to relinquish every last soul he has stolen, including your own. The ritual we performed with the Amulet of Kings caused the soul burst and damaged the veil between worlds. If the damage is to be repaired, I must attempt the ritual again, this time with you. Only if we use it here on Nern. But if we were to travel to Cold Harbor, we might be able to harness its power. Imbe Calling upon the power of the amulet in this manner will consume someone's soul, utterly. One cannot channel the power of the gods without paying such a price. Unfortunately, you don't have a soul to consume, and I am needed to perform the ritual. More specifically, one of our three companions. Of course it is. The fact of the matter stands, however. One of the five will need to give their life to fuel this attack, when the time comes. So you said before the Vestige arrived. And I've already thought it over. I'll do it. Snow Lily, no. You should not need to give your life this way. This is my duty. Penance. For my numerous failures. This is my chance to make things right. The scroll said nothing of this moment, and so I am not bound to their dictates. Vestige, I ask that you let me do this one thing. All that has happened was because of my hubris. I shall be the one. Sire, you've done enough. This was Manny Marco's doing, not yours. As the one who will fight the Daedric Prince, the Vestige should decide. I don't see you leaping to volunteer, Tharn. 
saving your own backside again? Hard as it may be, Lyris, don't be an idiot. I'm the only one who knows the ritual, and we don't have time to teach anyone else. That's enough. It won't be decided here and now. Vestige, come here. I have some final words for you. It appears we have come full circle, Vestige. That millions of others may live, yes. As Thawne has said, there are already plans in motion to infiltrate Cold Harbor. You must be part of them. The chains that anchor us to oblivion draw us ever closer. When the plane meld has been thwarted and the dust has settled, the five companions will gather one last time to face our destinies. Good. I found you. Speak with me a moment, if you would. Greetings, Adept. Good to see you in person. I am Vana Scalarian, head of the Mages Guild you so ably serve. Yes, it's high time Tamriel was free of Molongval's grip. The Anchors, the Daedra, the Undead, they devastate our fragile mortal plane. I want you to meet with Copper Daria, leader of the Ring of Daggers. She'll be at the Mages Guild in Daggerfall City. Even Emmerich's personal agents think my idea is sound. I'll be along shortly. I just have a few final preparations to make. About time you got here. Name's Daria, but my friends call me Copper. I... I'll eat sand before I give orders to the King's right hand. You want to help Vanus with his crazy plan? Be my guest. Really? Zet's tears, you're as crazy as he is. I better get to work then. There are a lot. So, what's the bet? A hundred gold says there's an attempt on our lives within the week. That's a sucker bet. The hidden armagers have hit us at least once a week for the past three months. All right. 300 says that when the Dominion spies contact us, it'll be Cariel, not Razumdar. Cariel? That wench knows better than to show her face around me. Mark my words, I'm going to have to hunt her down to slit her And throat. after you do, that 300 gold will buy you enough ale to celebrate for a year. I'll take that bet. And share the ale if you win. Let's go. We have a lot of work to do. Apologies for my lateness. Thank you for coming so quickly, champion. I've been consulting with Countess Hakruba of the Fighters Guild. Both of our guilds believe the time has come to take the fight to Cold Harbor. Trust, as always. The Alliance leaders will never agree to join forces. 
And if our guilds only work with one alliance, the other two will see it as a betrayal. For both guilds, our neutrality is our strength. The war in Cyrodiil has been long and bloody, and all three alliances are spread thinly. You're in a unique position. You can speak with authority, but you're not an alliance leader. You're respected, you have a reputation. They may let you get a word in before they leap at each other's throats. In short, you're the perfect diplomat. I found the perfect meeting place, a neutral location far from disputed territories, an island called Sturk. I can get you an audience with each leader and provide magical transportation. That's all I ask. I'll open the portal. I think it's best that I travel with you and make introductions as a neutral party. But Watch yourselves, outsiders. Give us a good reason and the armagers will cut you down where you stand. We'll burn you. And shatter you. Any questions? I didn't think so. Silence, Thrush. Master Galarian, please continue. My companion hopes to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor Crisis. I have heard tales of this one. The Skald King favors the bold even among his enemies. Come, champion, let us be. I will stay your execution since you came all this way. But you? Yes, well, I am both suspicious and curious. If you are an assassin, though, get on with it. But to fear death is to fear life. I am Nord. When my time comes, I will embrace it. Sovngarde will be glorious. No meetings, no schemes. Who, the three alliances? Has magical travel rattled your brain? Where the All Flags Army was born. Ah, if the other leaders agree, I will attend. If nothing else, it should make a good story. Now, That went well, I think. Shall we move on? Elden Root. We should have a somewhat warmer reception there, as I have known Queen Irene for quite some time. That being said, I expect that she'll be accompanied by heavily armed guards. Greatly esteemed Queen Irene Arana Aldmeri, it is my great honor to present to you... Vanus, you're so formal. I remember the patience and kindness you showed an awkward, freckled waif all those years ago on Fair Somerset. You captured this child's heart then, and it remains with you to this day. You warm an old man's heart, my queen. I remember well those halcyon days. As do I, my old friend. Sorry about all these guards. I'm told they're necessary. These are dark days. A wise precaution, my queen. My counsel would be no different. If you'll permit it, my companion would like to speak with you. Ah, yes. 
Let me meet this hero I've heard so much about. It's not often the heroic deeds of one who by all rights should be considered a mortal enemy reach my ears. Come, let's talk. Vanus is a dear man. In many ways, he is family to me. Since he has given you his trust, I'm willing to set aside our differences. But under different circumstances, you and I would be sworn enemies. Well spoken and point taken. A true champion is like a stone cast upon the waters of history. The ripples it creates travel far and wide. Humility is a noble thing, but you must also remain strong and self-assured. A true champion is also history's pawn, and history is a cruel and unfeeling master. And you need all three of the Alliance leaders to attend this meeting. A bold suggestion. I like it. Very well. I make no promises with regards to the negotiations themselves, but I will attend. That much, I promise. I didn't think it possible. Well done! We have much to do. Come. All three leaders have agreed to join us on Sturk. Now, individually, the leaders are rational, even reasonable. But get them together and... Well, you'll see soon enough. Why did you run off? I was just preparing the portal. Please, return to Wayrest as soon as you can. Everything's been prepared. Welcome to the island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just I'm up told ahead. They'll be arriving the at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. I don't envy you the task. We've already two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience, but reaching a compromise will be no small task. I promise you. Look! It's Lady Laurent! Careful with that, you clumsy fool. Do hurry it up. We're missing everything. I never weary of your charms, Lady Laurent. That is Galarian as I live and breathe. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slowed. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Ball's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. Stibbons, haven't you finished tying those bags yet? Oh, you really are hopeless. Well, milady, we must dash. We're expected at the summit. Wonderful. It's Tellinger. Here's Tellinger, the artificer himself. Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanus, your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what Dwemer rubbish bit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by, won't you? I don't have the time or the energy, Tellinger, so I'll bid you good day. The captain in charge of security, Alfari, is over there.
High King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. Queen Iran of the Old Merry Dominion. Joran Skald King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Mola Qual commands. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift your finger except to count your gold. Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Vanus, but I'm going to check on my lion guard. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Intractable fools. Their pride will see us all dead. We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Bal's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Willing and able. But, like the Mages' Guild, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The Alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. This meeting feels like two wolves and a sheep discussing what to have for dinner. I will not sit back and let them pick up my bones. That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few, and Molag Baal's followers are legion. All right, then. I'll agree, provided you can convince the Barbarian and the Child Queen. I don't... Your king needs to stop talking out of the side of his mouth. He has a lot of Dominion blood on his hands. Is there? What did you have in mind? Hmm, perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. Well, it's certainly not what they'll be expecting. Save your breath. I will not be swayed by Emmerich's lapdog. But what about the war in Cyrodiil? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric hordes. Without the Evanhart pact, they do not stand a chance. How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. History will remember the Skull King as the bane of Moloch Ball. Any luck, or are they... I hope they come to their senses soon. With very good reason. But the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. I have an ill feeling about this. has arrived. I can't. Caldian, what's happening? Go. Get away from me. Run. These are the great leaders of Tamriel. Pathetic. 
but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place, so I can crush them like insects. Not like that. Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. from the enemy the god of schemes grows more powerful by the day agreed there's no time to waste we must take the fight to him yes at the alien well at the center of the island after that terrible display of power i don't think they have much choice honored leaders you have seen the face of our enemy molag ball threatens every living being in tamriel the mages guild and the fighters guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor! Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Thanos is right. The guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emmerich. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Stark interior. The champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, champion. 